Hello, everyone, and welcome back to yet another episode on the Velocity channel about Velocity Banking. Here we go ahead and lay out how to do the Velocity Banking method with your credit card, your line of credit. We even teach you how to pay the loans off with your line of credit. Now, when I say line of credit, of course, I mean the credit card too. Listen, before we get into that, let's go ahead because we got a question. Let's go ahead and let you know that you need to like, share and subscribe so that we can help people in this economy. Matter of fact, so that we can help the economy. All right, Tay Tay. This is the comment from Tay Tay, y'all. She said, I'm trying to figure out how to pay car loan payments from my credit card because my loan is with Wells Fargo and they won't allow me to pay my bill with a credit card. This is a very, very good question, Tay Tay. Thank you so much for your question. So this is the one thing I want to just reiterate over and over again. We want to make sure that we're getting something straight from the very beginning. If you have an ultra low or a low percentage rate on your car loan, you may want to reconsider paying it off. Is it worth you paying it off? Okay. Do you remember what formula to use in order to recognize whether something is worth paying off quicker or whether something is worth paying off later. All right. So before we get into that question, we want to let you know that there is a thing called that's right. Come on. What is it called? It's called the cash flow index. And that's going to let us know whether we should pay that loan off quicker or whether we can wait for 30, 40, 50, forever years to pay it off, okay? And here is the formula. So you will have the balance, let's just say, your balance on the car loan is 20K, okay? So you got 20K, that's your balance, all right? Now, what are we going to divide by? Because you know there's got to be some division somewhere. We're gonna divide it by, let's say, the minimum payment is, hmm, what, 300? Is that good? 300 per month. That's your minimum payment. Okay, so the cash flow index, the CFI, goes like this, okay? Your cash flow index is going to equal your loan balance, which is the 20K, and you're going to divide that by with the 300. Now, I should have picked a better number than that. However, this one works, okay? Watch this. Okay, let's go ahead and just divide that in our head here, 20,000 divided by 300, 66.666667, right? Okay, so listen, I went ahead and I, I did the calculator, all right? So that's how I know that so fast. So this is going to be 66.66 repeating, right? Now, do you remember what the 66 falls in, what range that falls in? Let's go ahead and write that over here. The 66 falls in the, come on, the restructuring range. That's right. Remember, there's a range, folks, a range zero, all the way to 100 with 50 being in the middle, all right? So how you organize your loans is like this. If you take the balance of your loan and divide it by the minimum monthly payment and the loan falls between 50 to 100, like 66 does, okay? You're in the restructuring phase, all right? This is the restructuring zone or the caution zone. That means you can ask the dealership to restructure the loan. Uh, you can ask for a lower interest rate. Uh, perhaps you want to refinance, right? You know, all to free up more cash flow. So if your number falls between 50 to 100, that's the caution zone from zero to 50. That's the danger zone. And if it's 100 and above, well, that's the freedom zone and you don't have to pay it off that quick. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Now, done with that. Let's go ahead and get back to her question. Her question was, she's trying to figure out how to pay this car loan from her credit card. Well, many times 
people don't know what to do when the car dealership is like, yeah, but, you know, we don't take credit cards. Great. But you know how you can pay it? Plastic. That's right. Not through the plastic card, right? They said no. But you can pay it through the plastic card, okay? P-L-S-T, P-L-A-S-T-I-Q, all right? And look, if you are needing hookups or connections to this, we've got them in the description below, okay? So don't fear. We are here. We're going to let you know how you can pay it through Plastique, all right? Uh, they love Discover and MasterCard, but they also take the others as well. It's just that you may be, you may find yourself uh, more limited if you don't have a Discover or a MasterCard, but Visa and Amex, that's great too, all right? Now, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take the same loan, 20 grand, okay? We're gonna write out the zeros on this one. We're also gonna put a dollar sign and say, you know, it's 300 as the minimum monthly payment. But let's say, right, they're like, listen, we don't care whether or not you um, are going to pay, you know, through a credit card. We don't accept them, right? Okay, so they don't. What you can do is you can be like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and pay through Plastique because what Plastique will do is they'll go ahead and they will send a check on your behalf as long as you've got funds in that card now are you simply paying the monthly payment do you have a five thousand ten thousand fifteen thousand twenty thousand dollar card and you are not using it i want you to do something for me okay i want you to take a big old bite out of this crime okay take a bite out of that crime all right there was a dog named mcgruff he had this saying and that was take a bite out of crime okay make sure that if you have a credit card or a line of credit that has a substantial amount on it let's go ahead and take a bite out of that principle what happens when we take a bite out of that principle what also is bitten down. What also is smaller? The interest. Okay. And I find that interesting. <laughs> when you take a bite out of the principal, okay, it also takes a bite out of the interest. Why? Because the interest is the parasite, huh? And then the principal is the host. You can think about it like that. All right. And so, as you're continuing to back that down, of course, they're not going to let you pay less than $300. You know what? That's that's the, the loans, right? That's how loans work. No, we're on a scheduled payment. We don't care if you, huh, bit down the, the chunking principal. You're still going to, we don't care if the principal is at $10,000. you are still going to pay $300 each and every month. But guess what? When you bite down this principal, you're still, you still have less time to pay it off. Why? Because you've bitten down the principal so much. Let's say you put 10,000 toward it and then you're still continuing to pay month after month. Now, some may say, hey, what about the fees? What about the fees? Have you looked at your car dealership statement? Have you looked at your loan statement lately? Those are fees, folks. You're all up and excited about all these fees that are getting charged because of simple credit, because of simple interest versus the amortized that they are charging you. They're charging you literally an arm and a leg and you're all excited about these measly fees that come along with the transaction. Folks, let's not get duped because there's a difference. Don't get duped by the numbers. You see, you believe that six is less than 21, don't you? Do you still believe that? You still believe that six is less than 21? Hmm. Okay. All right. But what if I told you that the 6% was advertised? You see anything with mort in it means death. And that the 21 
percent was simple. Do you still think that six is less than 21? It's the difference between Celsius and Fahrenheit. You've got to make sure that you're asking these corporations, that you're asking these banks, and that you're asking these lenders, hey, is that simple interest or is that amortized? Because if it's amortized, it's got death in it, mort, like mortuary, like mortgage, the death pledge, no, like morticia, mort. That's Latin for death. We don't want death. Okay? We don't want that. Huh? You need to cross that out. We want life simple. And that's why we use our credit cards. That's why we don't cut them up. No, 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 no. That's why we want lines of credit to pay off our loans. And that, Tay Tay, is how you pay off your car loan. Look at the description below. Anything that you need to start a business to pay off your loans is right there. You guys that want business credit, you guys that want credit repair, it's right there. All right? Folks, thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. God bless and have a great night.